guys, welcome back to our channel. Thank you for joining in today on another video from the Hickmans. I'm in a kind of a different setup here. I'm actually sitting in my hotel room in Franklin, Tennessee. I'll be at our mission board office tomorrow morning for a meeting and looking forward to meeting some new folks and seeing what God's doing in our state. While we're here tonight, have a little bit of time on our hands. I want to do a video on our, on my, not our, my everyday carries, the essentials. What does Lee Hickman carry every day? Funny thing is people want to know this. That's why we're doing this video. So why don't you go ahead, if you've not subscribed, go ahead and do that. That helps us uh, hit that little subscribe button right there. Go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. Start liking this video, please. We get lots of views and uh, not too many likes. So we need you to be cool and like our video. And since you hit that like button, that little thumbs up button right now, I'm gonna give you a fist pound. Right for you, my dear friend, you are amazing. So let's get into the video now. So here's some things I carry on myself every day. Uh, no particular order. Uh, no, this is number one, number two, number three. So let's just go through it. I, I've emptied out my pockets so that I can do this video. Uh, I don't carry a lot of things in my pockets. I don't like my pockets to be full. My, my, my pants be bulging out because of the stuff in my pockets, keys and whatever. And so I don't carry things in my pockets unless I have to. So let's just start here. Here's my wallet. Uh, I normally carry this in my front pocket. It's slim enough to carry my front pocket. I don't like anything in my back pocket weighing down my pants inside my wallet. Like most people, I have driver's license and insurance cards. I've got um, like a Sam's Club membership card. I've got my AAA card. Uh, I've got a ticket here to pick up some dry cleaning and I've got some other just reward cards here. Of course, my debit card, we have a credit card. And then also in my wallet, you will find, if I can find it here, these are all written by Christina while we were dating that I've kept in every wallet I've owned since we were in high school. So she made this for me while we were in high school. She used to call me, uh, or she used to always say, my loves you instead of I love you. And so she made this for me in high school. You can see it there. Hey, my loves you. I keep that in my wallet. I've had it for years and years and years. And then two notes that she wrote me. I don't know if there's dates on these or not. I've kept these for a while. This one's nine years old. She wrote it on 72310. Just wanted to write you and say how much and let you know how much I love you. I appreciate you so much. Yada, yada, yada. Those things that she is wonderful at talking about. So I'll keep that letter. And then here's one. Let's see if she dated this one. And this one she called me Jonathan. And let's see when this one was written. Uh, there's no date on this one. Wow. Wow. She's a lovely lady. Just again, saying how much she loved me and supported me and has my back. And so these three items I have kept in every wallet I've owned. So they're tucked away back here. So that's my wallet. Moving on to the next item. Again, I don't like our house keys and stuff. Uh, the keys to the church, um, just miscellaneous keys like that. I don't keep on me unless I need them. So I don't need them for this trip. So they're actually at home. So the only keys I'm carrying in my pocket are car keys. These are not my car keys. This is the rent a car that I have uh, from Enterprise. Gotcha. Um, and so, uh, I really don't like this key. It's a Volkswagen. I've never had a Volkswagen vehicle, never drove a Volkswagen. Actually, my eighth grade history teacher swore he would never drive a Volkswagen because, you know, they're German made. And uh, actually, Hitler 
was a part of the making of the Volkswagen during World War II. And so he'd always say, I'm never going to drive one of them Nazi vehicles. And that's actually how he said it. It was hilarious. So uh, actually, it's a pretty nice car. It drives smooth. And so anyway, but I just don't like how thick this bad boy is. It feels like a cigarette lighter or something. But anyway, just weighs down my pocket too much. Carries a little bit of coins in my pocket. And then another daily carry of mine is my watch. Uh, I know we have our cell phones that uh, can give us the time, but I just think it's good for a man to still wear a timepiece. To be able to just to whip it out and see what time it is. Christina got me this watch. Uh, uh, it's not gonna focus. Come on, focus, 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 focus. Christina does this in her makeup videos. Anyway, she got me this watch several years ago. I wear it just about every day. On my cell phone, I have several different apps. Like all the rest of you, I have like um, all the social media apps. Uh, like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Uh, I've got Snapchat, but I don't really get into it. I go and look at what people have snapped. Is that what you call it? Comment below and let me know. Is it calling snapping? I'm assuming. Um, let me know if that's the right terminology so I really don't have no idea. Um, so I've got like social media apps. I've got our banking apps on my phone. Uh, most people have that, of course, calendar. I keep three or four different calendars. The one on my phone is just my personal calendar. And then I keep a calendar I'm about to show you in a minute that's my personal and my church calendar. And then I keep a calendar that's my personal church and other ministry events. So I keep three different calendars uh, just to try to keep my life in order. But on my phone, I have that calendar. I've got, uh, see what other apps do I have on my phone? I have like Delta uh, for when we fly. I have an Enterprise app for when I rent a car. Um, I've got other apps, trying to think. Canva, I think it's C-A-N-V-A. Uh, that's a great app for um, doing like thumbnails. Uh, if you have a picture and you want to add words to it, it's a great app. Most of it's free. Some of you got to pay for it, but we don't. Um, of course, we've got local news apps. Uh, we've got F the Fox News app. Uh, I'm trying to think of all the apps on my phone without looking at it. Uh, weather apps. Uh, anyway, tons of apps. I use most of them just about every day. The last thing that I carry is this beautiful leather messenger bag, maybe? I don't know what to call it. Christine, the girl, got it for me uh, back at Christmas. And it's all the legit deal. Uh, as you can see, like the buckles don't like pop open. Like you've actually got to unbuckle all the uh, things here. And I'll show you what's in this bag. So like, for example, in these front pockets, I keep like eyeglasses cleaner, earbuds, uh, things such as that. This is a folder uh, that I got from the Murdy company. It's uh, pure uh, leather. Uh, it's a wonderful folder. You unscrew these screws right here to insert papers, take out papers. It keeps them from ripping out. And then inside this folder I have my, my calendar, As you can see August is basically taking up. Every, there's something literally every day going on. This is for my personal and church. And then I keep another calendar that's personal church and ministry, like I told you so. You got something going on every day. So I keep my calendar. I also started this last month. I began journaling. So every two or three days I will keep a journal and uh, so I've got a section here for when I'm doing my journal. I've got our family's budget in here, and then I've got a section just to write notes. And then I'm keeping up with a vacation budget for next year's vacation. We try to budget everything and be good stewards of the money we've been given. What fell out of here? Hang on. Hang on, folks. I'll be right back, folks. Don't you worry. Ah, I see what fell out. This is my pin case. I keep three pins on me at all times. 
Uh, this pen, a uh, gentleman whose wife used to work for me, he now makes pens and he made this one um, that I got from him. Uh, so there's none other like it in the world. I love this pen, writes great and uh, very sturdy, uh, thick. And then I had to keep two fountain pens on me. This black one, uh, I write a lot of letters. Of course, I told you I journal. So this black one has Noodler's black ink in it. And this blue one actually has um, Diamine Emerald ink. It's a green ink. I love, my favorite movie of all time is The Wizard of Oz. And so I keep a green emerald ink, if you know anything about The Wizard of Oz. Uh, maybe comment below. How about doing that? Let's interact, folks, okay? I know it's just me talking to this camera, but while I'm talking to this camera and you watching this, what does Emerald have to do with the Wizard of Oz, okay? See what else is in this bag very quickly here. I keep just a folder that just has general documents in it. I've got some blank pieces of paper. Uh, if I'm ever driving and a sermon comes to me or I'm out like here at the hotel and God begins working my heart about a sermon, I'll just take out some of these blank pieces of paper and begin to take notes and write and, um, see where these sermons go in my sermon prep. If you've not seen the sermon prep video, we will put it down in the description below so you can see that. So I'm just scribbling notes all the time for sermon prep. I've got some of our tax exempt forms for the church and just other documents that I'm needing to keep up with. Okay, that's in that folder. Uh, I keep my handy dandy MacBook in here. Uh, I forgot to bring the charger with me to Franklin and it is dead. I began doing some work earlier, got five minutes into it and it went kapooey. Uh, and last but not least, my everyday carry, it's in my bag that I carry every day, is the Word of God. A good preacher friend of mine gave me this Bible. It was his and we were in, um, where were we? trying to think of the city. I know what state we were in. We were in Destin, Florida. And um, at a pastor's retreat, us and about 30 or 40 other preachers, and he had this Bible. And I've been looking for one at that time that was very slim, King James Version. Um, that was something I could carry on me at all times, especially for things like that. So I asked him, I said, hey brother, where did you get that Bible? And uh, he was telling me, and then at the end of the evening, he walks up and he says, hey, God told me to give you my Bible. And so uh, I didn't want to take it. I tried not to take it, but again, he said the Lord told him to, so I have. And I've made notes in here. There's notes in here that he's made. And so that's a little special to me. I could see what God was working in his heart. Um, so Jeff Laborg, you're out there. Thank you, brother. I use this every day and I appreciate it. So that's, uh, that's my everyday carry guys. That's things I keep on me. Uh, how about comment below guys and gals and let me know what you carry. Maybe some of the same stuff. Um, maybe different things. I'd be interested to know what your everyday carry is. So anyway, thanks for watching today comment, share our videos to your social media platforms, especially Facebook, thumbs up this video, comment on this video, and uh, show us some love out there in YouTube land. Anyway, thanks for joining us. We'll see you on the next one, folks.